the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Going right, intercepted at the 30. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. Well, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. That makes it second and ten. Two down, two down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Go. Tackle made at the 12. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Quick throw, and he's got the tight end again. He's taken down around the one yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal. You mom, baby. I'm in your head. All day, baby. Come on. Come on. Check, check. Disco, check. Disco check. Raver. Disco okay, Raver. Well, you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six play, 24 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, seven nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Texas Tech's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Tackle around the 34-yard line. So he turns the counter into a nine-yard gain. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And down he goes at the 40. Big opening. Gets out to around the 48. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. down around the 24 yard line and 
he's tackled at the 14-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Feedback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down at the 24. Texas Tech holds a four-point lead. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 32-yard line. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 32-yard line. First down. Here we go, G. Check, check. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First down. Lays him out. Number 31 makes the tackle at the 47 yard line. That brings him second and five. Check, 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 check. Brought down in the open field. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That makes it from the 36 yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's immediately tackled. He scrambled. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. Texas Tech is up by four. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. We're through one quarter. The Red Raiders lead it by four. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. 34, eyes on 34. Mike check, 33. Go, 33. 
Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at about the 11. Call it a game of two yards. First down. And he hits him hard at the 18 yard line. And here's the 14th play of the drive. And he is drilled at the 26 yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Texas Tech is up four. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 10-3, Texas Tech. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Caught. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Taken back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. And he tackles him hard at the 30. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. He airs it out. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and eight. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Texas Tech is up a score. He goes out of bounds at the 21-yard line. through his hands. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point the defense is keeping them in the game but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead caught to the 20 he's taken down at the 12 yard line After a 
decent run up the gut. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Got some open field. Number 24 makes the interception. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Texas Tech up seven points. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's level at the 41. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Well, really, a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think part of the offense coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. And down he goes at the 39. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. So the sack makes this a second and long. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. And they get nice yardage on that run. And he didn't get enough for the first. You now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas Tech is up by a touchdown. Got a man. Watch out here. Out of bounds at the 22. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Slings it. And it's caught. The 50. Brought down around the 28-yard line. First down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That makes it second and six. This one's going deep to the end zone. Incomplete. Almost picked off. 
Brady drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. He's on the run. They're going to have to call their third and final timeout. It's up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Red Raiders with a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look, you know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that under, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Throws it out there. Interception. And he's tackled at the 48. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back, and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. the middle for a nice game. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Nice run up the middle. Field. 
the offense couldn't get those linemen blocked and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Third down and they need to get it down to the 20. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds around the 22-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Arizona kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Brought down at the 14. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He wants it all. Got it. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Texas Tech's game plan is to put the ball in the air. You've got to have somebody to catch it on the other end, and they've got a good one. Yeah, and this defense knew coming into this game that this is a difference maker, that they had to be able to slow down. And so far, they've not been able to come up with the answers on how to slow him down and take him away from the offense. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at the 44. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Quick throw. That'll make it second and four. He's at the 40, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Here's a counter, losing yards. He knew it was a run all the way, got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. And he gets a yard on the run. He's under pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Going deep. Caught sideline and he stays in. This is a great pitch and catch combination and they hook up here for a big time game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. There he goes. And he hits him hard at the 34. A well 
time. Interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. First and ten, all on the 34-yard line. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Arizona! Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. These offenses seemingly took advantage of every opportunity to make a big play. They were prolific, explosive plays at every turn, offensive coordinators dialing up great calls at just the right moment, it seems. No, it did seem that way, and, and everything worked, but there's also the other side of the equation, too, and we talk about it all the time. da 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 You want to make top 10 plays, and you want to be celebrated. You want to see your clip for a couple days on SportsCenter, but when you're on defense, you can't always make a big sports center play. You can't try to decapitate somebody every single time. It's okay to make the easy tackle, grab their legs, wrap them up. Right now, a lot of sloppy tackling is making the offensive guys look 10 times better than they should be. You don't have to make sports center. You can just make the regular, normal, everyday play. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, got a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We, yeah. we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away.
An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. About nine yards there for the quarterback. Texas Tech is up a score. Makes the catch and look out. Steps out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Hey, check my 33. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Seven yards there. Hey, they picked up an ice skate of seven yards on that play. Great pass. First down grab by the receiver. And Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. Big opening. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Looks to his receiver, first down. Number 53 with the tackle at the 27 yard line. First down. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Texas Tech is up by a touchdown. He's looking for six. And here's another third down. That brings us third and ten. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Got some open field. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and goal. So at the end of the third quarter, Texas Tech in front, 2013. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Finds a man, touchdown. Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line. He's taken down at the 24. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Six. 
Nice run there. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. They hand it off. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Bring him down around the 42-yard line. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four on the play. That'll make it third and five. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And this is what power football is all about, folks. And they make the stop at the 31. Short pass, middle of the field. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Well, the last time down here, they threw an interception. They'd like to erase that memory. Got a man, and it falls to the ground. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Well, they finally got him, but not before he picked up six yards on the draw. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the eight-yard line. three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Less than three minutes in the game. Number eight, No game on the play. That makes his third and goal. There's a fumble. Scoops up the loose ball. What happened on the option play there? Well, you got to give credit to the defense. They knew what was coming, and they came up and made the play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Jumbo package on the field. They just want to get this ball out of their own end zone. Tackle around the six-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own six. Taken down at the eight. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Throw 
Throws it out right to the running back. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. They'll bring him down at the 41. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Red, 18. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. He's going left. Picked off by the senior. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air, and they come away with a dagger of an interception. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Here he goes. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. A minute to go in the ball game. Couple, maybe three yards on that run. Three down, three down. Mike Sick, 33, 33. 
The Red Raiders know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.